So, I was curious, you know. I, I thought if this thing isn't designed to hurt me, well, uh, I'd, be, I'd be interested to know what is exactly happening to me. And I didn't want to run out and not know what the heck it was all about. But, and by the way, here's the book I was talking about earlier. This is Cosmic Trigger, written by Robert Anton Wilson. Now, I don't recommend the book. Uh, he's not a Christian, and he's completely lost, sorry to say. But he does, and I've, I've looked for it in here, you know, I read this a long time ago, and I went back to it trying to find that, that place where he describes that buzz, and he describes it very well. And I've just read other people, I've seen it on the internet, there's lots of people who've had an experience probably similar to mine. Uh, so anyway, I had to decide what to do about it, and it takes way longer to tell what I experienced than it did to happen. Like I said earlier, the whole experience took no longer than that time takes for that song to play. And that song is like four minutes long or something like that. So, very, very rapidly these thoughts occurred to me. You know, you could end the experience, but then I thought, if I do, I'll never know what this was all about. And so, I decided to let it proceed. And all I had to do to decide that was not shake myself out of the trance, not by an act of my will, say, refuse this, but simply say, you know, stand there and do nothing, really. And by doing that, I was sort of giving my own act of the... It was doing the opposite. I was giving my act of the will permission to carry on. You know, what is this all about? I guess knowing that if it got scary at any moment, I could still maybe shake myself out of it and run outside or whatever. So, in that understanding, I decided to just stand there and see what happened next. As soon as I made that decision, and again, it, very quickly, this took seconds to get from where I started to where I am now in the story. Seconds, just boop, 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 very quickly. And then, I suddenly became aware of what or who was visiting me. Something, something was coming to me through this buzz and that record and I saw in my mind as I stood there I'm still looking down at the floor but I saw four guys four guys that looked like in their 30s uh, and I thought they were a rock band in fact I thought they were Black Sabbath that's the first thing I uh, assumed they had long hair they were dressed all in black and looked like black leather you know black t-shirts whatever and they seemed really cool, like a, like a rock band. And the first thought that I got when I saw this is, again, is this really happening? That's the first thing I thought. And I wasn't even directing it at them. I just thought it to myself. Is this real? Wow, is this real? Wow, what, what's this all about? And as soon as I thought it, I felt an answer come from them. In my, th It's all in thought. I didn't say anything out loud. I didn't even have time to. I just thought it. And immediately from them, wherever they were, they said, yeah, this is really happening. And we're really here. And then I said, are you guys Black Sabbath? You know, hey, I'm eating Black Sabbath. You know? <laughs> and I couldn't tell by their fa facial features or, you know, I couldn't say, eh, it's Ozzy Osbourne or something like that. I just said, are you guys Black Sabbath? And they, they sort of said, no, we're not Black Sabbath. But we are the power behind Black Sabbath. That's their word. And they said, they sort of work for us, as do many other bands. And right then I'm going, oh, I know what you guys are. You know, it's like, <laughs> you're, you're devils, aren't you? Oh, you're the devil, you're demons, or something like that. But, you know, I didn't dare say that or even think it. I just was like, okay, I think I know what we're talking about here. Because as soon as they said, no, we're not Black Sabbath, but they sort of work for us, as do many other bands, I'm going, well, this can only mean one thing, you know. So, then my next thought was, what are you doing here? I'm just playing a record. I don't, you know, what did I do to deserve this? Well, they said, we get that a lot. And I'm like, what do you mean you get that a lot? They said, that's a common question that we get from others who we visit just like you. And they kind of gave me the feeling that what was happening to me happens to other people that this is something that they do. They just go around doing this. And they told me, that's a common question, and we understand, 
And because going through my mind was, what about me could possibly cause this to be happening? I am the most uninteresting, untalented, unlikely candidate for this, whatever this is. I'm just a little guy listening to a record. What are you doing? What does this mean? You know, because wrapped up in this whole experience without ever having to be told it was the understanding that I was selected, that this was something very unique and that I was somebody special to even be having. In fact, that was part of what they told me when they said, you don't want to turn that record up and run out because if you do, you'll never know what this was all about and and this isn't something that happens just every day. You don't want to turn this off without knowing why. I mean, this is a special deal. And so...